welcome uh, or welcome back if you're returning my name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music then you should subscribe because that is everything that we do here. Also don't forget to like this video uh, because that super helps us out and it lets me know that you like me playing this game. Uh, so yeah. Also, really quick announcement. Once we hit 800 subscribers, we are getting very close. We are going to be doing an art stream, a live art stream. It has a way for me to say thank you to all of you guys for being super awesome and super supportive. So we are at 740 at the time of me starting this live stream. We'll see where we get to in the next few days. But hopefully 800 is sooner rather than later. I'm very, very, very excited. This is more than I could possibly have even imagined. You. You want to help me, is that it? I do not know what to say. Thank you, Bert, thank you. The lumbering ones we must fell wander the plains to the west of Reunion. If we each harvest two, then we should have enough whisper root. Return here when you have finished. Good luck. Blessed is he who shows kindness to strangers, for with fortune does he ever ride. Will this quantity suffice? It shall. The kid's eye is yours. The gods favor you more than you know, child. We could really have need for, of such herbs, and so my stock is limited. Had you come a day earlier or later, I would have done for you. Perhaps the gods guided me here as they guided grandmother, as they guided this woman from the west. Perhaps. Hey! How goes the search? Any luck? <laughs> what fortune to meet a friend of the young master! Well met, Serena. If you have an inkling as to the current whereabouts of Lord Hien, we should be most grateful for your assistance. Oh, please! It is I who should be grateful. Hold! What is this? I came first, you second! Excuse me? Know you to whom you speak? All people of the steppe should! Or have you fought so much that you have forgotten the face of your superiors? You look like a chocobo with those feathers. Superiors? I spit on your superiority, little prince! Twisted and mad as sand devils your kind are! Those two don't seem to like each other very much. Those boys are of the Oronir and Dothal, the two strongest tribes. The children of Azim are destined to rule. So they declare to all who will listen. Their word is law. For now. Grand, flamboyant fighters, but deadly. Very deadly. He prances as a horse, as do his brothers after their many recent victories. The Undying Ones, too, are strong, fearless, and vicious. They often reigned in the past. Now they are sorely tested. Evil the master of the markets. He is Castile. Castile. To fight in reunion is forbidden, and to break the peace is to be banished forever. This he says without words, for words are lies to the Castile. They do not speak. That's interesting. And all these different tribes share the same lands, do they? No wonder it's tense. I shall look for you on the field at the Nardum. Mark my words! <laughs> How shall I? 
Mayhap I shall take eleven more Dothar heads to make a dozen with yours. I, I look forward to the day. The dispute will be settled at the Nardum? A great battle held on the final day of the Sahan San. During this time, all bonds of hierarchy are broken. All Zela are equal and free to prepare for the fight. The tribe which triumphs in the Nardum rules until the next Sahan San. Which in these lands is now. Ah, so that is what they call the custom. I presume your tribe will also be taking part? Not all seek the Dawn Throne. Some are satisfied with their lot. Others, like the Kestir, have reason to remain neutral. The Mol are lambs among wolves. Long were we content to remain apart and live quietly, but... Never mind that. You see Kien, yes? I know where he may be. Long ago, my grandmother, having received a vision from the gods, bade me go forth into the southern mountains. It was there that I found Hien, near death from many wounds. I brought him to our village, and there we nursed him back to health. Afterwards, he chose to remain, that he might repay us for our kindness. Dovin set much store by honor and shame, so at first I did not question it. Excuse me, if I could see your map for a moment. Here, he has grown fond of this place. It affords him a view of the markets and the steppe. I would accompany you, but I must return to your, our village to prepare my grandmother's meal. Thank you again for your assistance. Our long-awaited reunion is at hand. Come, my friends, let us go and greet our lord and master. Finally. The Kami are merciful! My lord Hien! I see you are alive and well. Ah, oh, you are come sooner than expected. So, my blade or my head, which would you have of me? The people of Yansha remain loyal to Doma. I have seen the fire in their eyes. They are ready to rise up and fight. The time is ripe, my lord. Return with us, blade in hand, and lead Doma to freedom. Not less than liberty will suffice, then. A pity. It will prove far more difficult to deliver than my head. But if my people wish to pursue an impossible dream, then who am I to deny them? You, Giri! Go, Setsu! And, uh... The Scions of the Seventh Dawn, my lord. Good and true friends who opened their hearts and homes to us when we fled to Eorzea. How? Far across the sea they have journeyed to stand with us in the fight for Doman liberation. To oppose the Empire, as they have in the West, where they are lauded as heroes for their many deeds. Say no more, Yugiri. Say no more. I observed how you helped Sirena, to whom I am deeply indebted. For that and for the aid you provided my people, you have my deepest gratitude. There is no doubt in your strength, nor your character. It would be my honor to fight by your side. So, what of Doma? 
Arise, my friends, and tell me of our home. Not, 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 not. I have made my decision. You, Giddy, I bid you return to Yansha and take charge of our forces in preparation for my homecoming. As for our esteemed guests, I would ask that you remain here with me. I sense you will be a great help in the coming days. Your will is my command, my lord, but how much longer do you intend to stay? Oh, only until I have won the contest. I mean to return at the head of a Zayla army. You mean to participate in the Nardum? Have you a better idea? Consider how soundly we were defeated before. The Imperials may have since grown weaker, but we are weaker still. It would be folly to challenge them without first supplementing our forces, so yes, I intend to win the Nardum and enlist the aid of every able-bodied Zayla I can. Furthermore, by championing the Mole in the contest, I can at last repay their kindness. Lest you forget they saved me from certain death, and a man who suffers such debts to go unpaid is without honor and unfit to lead. <laughs> just so, just so. Our Lord has spoken, you giddy. But take heart, I shall keep him safe. And should it come to it, bring him back by force. This is no laughing matter, Gosetsu. But if these are my orders, very well. Once more, I place my faith in you. Pray look after them both. Did she disappear? Looks like it's up to us then. Though it does seem a bit risky. Isn't Hien meant to be the next King of Doma or something? So they say. Though in truth I am but a pale reflection of my late father. All the more reason to entreat your assistance. For ours is an impossible dream. To set in motion a revolution that will rattle the very firmament and shake off the yoke of the most powerful empire in the world. Berlin, was it? Once again, allow me to thank you for your many deeds in service to Doma. For 25 years did my father rule in name only. My rule, if one would deign to call it that, has been not in comparison. That changes now. We have a purpose and a plan, and after we take to the battlefield together, we will have victory as well. But you are a practical woman, I can tell. Disinclined to trust in words when actions speak truer, I can relate. Yeah, I'm practical. Don't you forget that. So, you too have heard of the Nadam. The great battle for supremacy of the steppe. I learned of it during my stay with the mall. To my knowledge, no foreigners have ever participated, much less triumphed in a Nardom. But lack of precedent notwithstanding, I should think we should we would have good standing to bid them march with us to Doma, should we win. Will they even permit us to fight, my lord? We belong to no tribe of the steppe. We are not without options, given what Serena has told me. You see, in accordance with the gods' wishes, her people shall participate in the coming Nardom. And when they take the field, I mean for us to fight alongside them as fellow warriors of the Mole. But we need not discuss this at length here. Come, let us head north to Mole Elo, where Serena and her people have made camp for this season. My friends, I give you Mole Elo. The cartoon of the tribe to Mulin resides in the largest yurt. We should go and make our introductions. <laughs> yurt. At last, the Traveler comes. Tamarun Hatun, Serena, I am returned. Ah, you found each other. Ours is the soil, Hian. The Domans, and the Eorzeans, too. You know us. The gods know you, child. As do the stars in the heavens, which shone bright at your coming. 
The mole hearken to the whispers of the Elder Gods, which guide us in our daily lives. We know them through the Utun, like my grandmother. Hatun, I am come to beg a boon of you and yours. That I might liberate my homeland, I seek to rally the strength of the steppe. To that end, I wish to fight in the Nardom, as a warrior of the Maw. Will you grant me this honor? To stand with the Maw is fruitless. He and do not do this. The gods may have willed that our tribe join in the Nardom, but... There is no path to victory. We are weak, and our numbers few. Even with your help, it would be impossible. I thank you for your concern, Sirena. But it is precisely because of the seeming hopelessness of your cause that we must needs cast our lot with you. Were we to join hands with a more favored tribe, our victory would inevitably be attributed to them. And no one would follow me to Doma. We're going for the underdog story. People love an underdog, Linda. Twas the gods' will that we fight. Mayhap this too is their design. This lady could be my character's grandmother too. Hear me then. As Hartoon of the Mull, I invite you all to join with us in the Nardom. Will you look after them? Come with me, friends. There is much I would show you. You... wait. I would have words. Yes, Grandpa? A singular radiance, shimmering, like a jewel of the Dusk Mother, blinding in its brilliance. Stars flicker and flock to you. Before such gathered light, even the secrets of the gods may be laid bare. Some are fated to rise in grace and glory, others to falter and fade, though not from memory. Both will be your strength and salvation come the end. Cherish the stars and the light they bring you in the dark. For you are a traveler, are you not? Tired of these cryptic messages. Thank you all for coming and for offering to fight with us in the Nodong. Though I still fear our chances grim, I am grateful for your assistance. To be recognized as warriors of the wool, there is a trial you must overcome. Oh, great. But before we speak of such things, there is another more pressing matter. My friends, I must warn you, the path upon which you embark is fraught with peril. You will journey into the far reaches of the steppe to confront a terrible foe, as did the warrior Bardom in days of yore. Three days he battled with the demon ere he returned to his people. So it is written, so must it be. Many who follow in his footsteps perish, lacking in strength of body and mind. Therefore... We must treat you to a great feast. A feast? <laughs> no way. Have, have I said something strange? The hungry far, fox starves staring at the bull's testicles. Therefore, warriors should be well fed on the eve of battle. What did she just say? <laughs> she does have a point. 
You have been keeping busy in my absence. A brief repast may be in order, lest we collapse of fatigue and malnourishment in the midst of our trial. Yes, just so. However, it will take time to prepare. Is there anything we can do to help? It might also give us a chance to learn more about your people and their ways. Well, if you insist, I'm sure that the others will be glad of your assistance. Oh, great. Hmm. Would you go and speak with Dor Baileys? As for you three, you can help me with another task. For today's feast, the gods decreed that we lure Gulo Gulo to slaughter with entrails. Perhaps you could be the ones to do this. That your people look to the gods for guidance, I understand, but in your daily meals, I say, your grandmother must be quite busy. Some days more than others, but every night we come together around the cook fire. Even babes must earn their keep on the step. Give over the entrails, Serena. We will bring you a bounty of meat. A word of advice. Our quarry is wont to avoid the Zayla and their settlements, but is fond of flowing waters. Hmm. A thought occurs to me. How about we make a game of it, Burr? I have six bags of entrails with which we, we may lure our gulo gulo. Three for you and three for me. Whoever returns with the greater portion shall be declared the winner. What say you? A challenge? Then it is settled. Gosenzu will stand as witness. Let the game begin. A few moments later. Oh, have you used all your bait? In that case, let us see the fruits of your labor. Oh, it would seem that at the very least you are the faster hunter. But speed is not everything. For my part, I si slew six gulo gulo. Oh yeah, I think I got seven, eight. Aye, that you have, my lord. As for Burr... The meat of eight gulo gulo did she bring. A fine day's work and undeniably the greater portion. Hee <laughs> hee hee. Bah, a loss, is it? And how confident I was in my chances. <laughs> Nevertheless, it is a testament to your skills as a hunter and a warrior. How fortunate I am to count one so talented among my allies. And with that, our game is concluded. Let us return to Mol Ilo forthwith, and let us have Burr present our meat to Serena. Thank you, my lord. My lord. Mayhap you are unfamiliar with traditional Zela cuisine? Let not its appearance deceive you. It is quite hearty and nourishing. Were it not so, I doubt they could have nursed me back to health. <laughs> you should have seen the state I was in. My word, this is impressive. Or were you so hungry that you felt the need to kill so many? Well, I shall endeavor not to disappoint you all with my cookie. It will be a little while before the meal is ready. If you at least wish to fill the time, perhaps you could assist Dorbay. He has many responsibilities and would welcome your help. Nor would you regret making his acquaintance, for he is liked and respected by all. You may find him by the other yurt, taking supply stock of our supplies. Good work. I hope you took the time to talk to the children while you were at it. Uh... <laughs> no. Lise, Lise, look how much dung we have. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought we'd gathered a lot, but it looks like we'll have to admit defeat. Dorbay will be happy we found it out. Not just Dorbay, now we can continue making cheese. Not that I was worried. It was easier when we were living near the forest. But dung works just as well as wood. I heard the mole mo move from place to place. That the gods tell you where to go. That must be hard on you all. Yes, yeah, definitely. Got that vibe. Hard? I do not understand. Why is it hard? It is better for the animals to move, to have more food to eat and lend to roam. To stay in one place is harder, no? 
from the heavens comes the rain which nourishes the soil. From the soil comes the grass which nourishes the beast. From the beast comes the flesh which nourishes the zela. Ours is the soil of one and all. But you Westerners are like the Dobbins. You live in the same place, in villages. And all the villages in one place are part of a nation, yes? He had talks about nations sometimes. When he was injured, he spoke of Doma in his sleep, but I did not understand his words. Whenever I ask him about Doma, he just smiles and looks to the south. It reminds me of my mother when she waits for my father re to return from a long journey. But he and will not wait any longer, will he? Because you came for him, to take him back. Because his nation is more important. Oh. Um... I'm not sure how to answer this. A nation is a place, I suppose. A place and the people in it. And maybe the things too. But more than that, it's the history, the traditions, the words, the stories we tell ourselves and our children. Everything that came before and everything that comes after. The place we were born is part of who we are. We carry it with us, no matter where we go. Whoever, whatever we become, that part remains. That link to our fathers and their fathers before them. It's, it's not important to everyone, I suppose, and that's fine. But it's important to he and, and to me. Some call them old fools for listening to the elder gods. But it is our way, our pride, our nation? <laughs> something like that. It's something precious that you and others share, and that no one can ever take from you. But we can talk more about it later. It's time to go home. Dorbe is waiting. I'll stay with the children. Why not go and let Serena know how we got on? <laughs> Welcome back, Bird. Did you speak with Dorbe? Yes. Well, well, then you will forgive me if I ask you to wash your hands. I shall pour you a cup of milk tea in the meantime. The meal is almost ready, so we should summon Hien and Gosetsu. Oh, please. She needed the rest. To come so far and carry so much. Hien and his friend, too. Strange that they should vanish so soon. Not troubled by her old wounds, I see. <laughs> Nor you by yours. I know I should have fled with the others after father died, instead of blindly fighting on. It was reckless and foolish, and there was naught to be gained from it. Everything to lose, rather. We know no path save the one we walk. I myself am in no hurry to meet those who have gone before. Not while I have still to make amends. Well said. <laughs> You are none the worse for your time in the wilderness. On the contrary, I would say you have improved. Come now, your victories still far exceed mine. 
Or have you forgotten all the times you trounced me as a boy? I feared I would not see you again. A life so fortuitously saved should be spent wisely. Without regret would I have traded it for our people's amnesty had it been their will. Instead they have called for the sword, and so that is what I must be. Until this blade is broken, I can but carve a path forward. Were you truly so concerned for my well-being? You never showed it when we used to spar. How you cried when you lost, and when your mother tried to comfort you, and when you inevitably came at me once more, swinging your wooden sword wildly. This is so cute. <laughs> Mina's little Master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. I've told you about that before. Ah, the mask slips. And I was so close to cultivating a winning persona. There will be opportunity enough for putting on airs after you have returned in triumph to Doma. Now is the time to show our true character. He's cute. Yes, yes. It is a name my parents gave me as a child, but I should like to think I have long since outgrown it. But as you seem determined to bring it back into use, I believe a match is in order. If I win, you will be honor-bound to divulge one of your darkest secrets. Well, my friends, I for one am full of vivid vigor. I trust you feel the same. Then what better time than now to undertake our trial and become full-fledged warriors of the all. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1K, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below, and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye.